Green and gold routes. Broadly speaking, there are two main types of open access and I will look at them in more detail here. Green open access, also known as self-archiving. Green open access involves the self-archiving of manuscripts, most usually the accepted manuscript, but occasionally publishers do permit the self-archiving of a published paper. Self-archiving means to deposit the manuscript in a non-commercial repository. Most publishers have a self-archiving policy in which they will stipulate the period of time following the publication of a paper that the accepted manuscript or published paper permitted by the publisher can be made available in a non-commercial repository, and this is called an embargo period. The policies can be found on the publisher's website, but also on other websites like Sherpa Romeo. It is worth noting here that the existence of an embargo period does not mean that the researchers should not upload their accepted manuscripts to the university's repository Apollo, because the open access team will ensure that the relevant embargoes are applied in the repository. Many funders are introducing an immediate open access requirement as part of their funding conditions, which means that publishing after an embargo period would not be compliant with the funders open access requirements. Rights retention offers a solution to this problem because it allows researchers to make their accepted manuscripts available with a CC BY license immediately on publication of the final version. Rights retention offers researchers a compliance green route. There is more about rights retention and the university's new self-archiving policy later in this libguide. Self-archiving is free, although some publishers do have a mandatory publication fee or submission fees. So it's worth checking the publisher's website to establish what the publisher charges before submitting. Gold open access. Gold open access is the second type of open access that I will cover here. Gold open access means that the published paper is made openly available immediately on publication with an open license like a CC BY license. Gold open access is not the same as being free to read, which is where a publisher makes content available but the content does not have an open license and may not be available immediately on publication or forever. Gold open access is a publishing model that charges to publish. Some journals are fully open access, which means that all of their content is open access. Other journals are subscription journals that offer researchers the option to pay to make their paper open access, and these are called hybrid journals. Unless the publisher has waived the fee, there will be an invoice to pay. Researchers should consider how they will pay the fee before agreeing to pay to publish gold open access. 